The doctor is in. Hey guys, it's your pal, Dr. Sal. Thanks for joining in again. Today, we're going to take a look at... Singular, also known as Montelukast. So this is a tablet therapy for prevention of asthma. So Singular, also known as Montelukast, which is a chemical name, uh, is called a mast cell stabilizer. Mast cell stabilizer. Now... How that differs from antihistamines is as part of the immune response to some kind of an insult. So here you have the immune, an immune cell here and something comes along that's an irritant or perceived irritant to the body. Well, this comes along and it triggers a mast cell, which is part of your immune response system. The mast cell then in turn releases uh, chemicals called histamine. So antihistamines work by then blocking this signal that then causes things like watery eyes, itchy nose, your airways clamping shut. So antihistamines work at this level here by blocking or targeting the histamine. The mast cell stabilizer, on the other hand, works at the cellular level over here and makes this guy sluggish. So he doesn't want to degranulate and, and uh, release his histamine. So it's like a one-up in the system. It works further back up the logical chain um, of in preventing uh, asthma. And as such, it's not only good for asthma, it's also uh, used for recalcitrant things like allergic rhinitis, which is also an allergic phenomenon. Theoretically, it could even be used for something like allergic conjunctivitis, even though it's not actually, that would be an off-label use because it's not licensed for but theoretically it would work for the same indication. So anyway, um, it comes as a, uh, for adults, it's 10 milligrams as a tablet. If you're six years old to 14, then you would use a five milligram chewable. If you're over 15, up to adults, 10 milligrams. And if you're two to five years old, you can use a little four milligram tablet. And the therapy is used once every day and reduces the number, the severity, the frequency of asthma attacks. So typically it's not your first line. Usually you start off with puffers because they they don't cause as significant systemic side effects. Um, but in some people, puffers alone is not enough. Um, avoidance therapy is not enough. So in cases like that, um, then you might look to, to something like Singular. So now let's take a quick look at the side effects. All right, so in this study, it was done on 2,600 patients. So N equals 2,600. And it was conducted over three months. So the first most common uh, side effect on Singular, aka Montelukas, was headaches in 18.4% of patients. However, if we look at placebos to try to wither out the wheat from the chaff, or what was an illusion, 18.1% of individuals on a sugar pill also were complaining of headache. Now, again, when you understand that most people with these kind of problems with asthma also tend to suffer with other allergy manifestations, including sinuses, then it makes sense that they would be getting sinus headaches. So to me, the real incidence is almost negligible as a cause directly um, because of the Montelukas. The next thing was diarrhea. And that dropped suddenly, precipitously, from 18 down to 3%, 3.1%, sorry. In the placebo arm, it was also 3.1%. So to me, uh, not really an influence of the singular. Uh, next up was belly pains or belly aches. That was 2.9% of people taking the drug versus 2.5% on placebo. Cough uh, came in at 27 and on the placebo arm, 2.4. Indigestion or dyspepsia symptoms came in at 2.1 as opposed to sugar pill, 1.1. So even if you say it's a 1% uh, chance of stomach, stomach um, indigestion as a consequence of the Montelukas, that is very small price to pay. Then fatigue is 1.8% uh, and only 1.2% in 
in placebo arm. So very, very well tolerated. And it, something interesting about that, when we go back to comparing that to things like uh, antihistamines that you get over the counter, like Benadryl, or even some of the ones that claim that they're non-drowsy, uh, for me, I've never found them to be non-drowsy. I just find them to be less drowsy. So if you compare taking daily Benadryl or Reactin or Claritin or one of those agents to assist with your allergic phenomenon, very often it causes sedation. With Singular, one of the beauties of getting this by prescription is it's not likely to make you tired and you'll still get the same benefit of reducing the allergic response. Then the next three most common side effects, uh, one was dizziness. That was 1.9% of people complained of that. About 1.4% on a sugar pill also complain of it. Then dental pain, 1.7 as opposed to 1. And you might find that a little odd. Why would somebody be getting dental pain? But again, with sinus infections, sinus infections, um, your sinuses are in your cheeks here. Very often, if the floor of the sinuses are involved, you'll get pain in your upper teeth um, because of sinus irritation. Uh, next up was nasal congestion. That was 1.6% of people as opposed to 1.3% on placebo arm. And then insomnia, uh, 1.3% versus 1.3%. So basically washes out to zero. So overall, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Montelukias or Singular is very useful in a lot of my patient population uh, for people that have significant asthma, lots of exacerbations. Um, causing misery and disarray in their lives and not adequate relief by taking a rescue pump or or a inhaler on a routine basis. Single air may be your answer and it's not going to make you feel fatigued like having to take uh, one a day antihistamine over the counter. So thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll be in touch again later. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now. If you found this video helpful, support us by sharing it with all of your friends and throw us a like below. You're a star. Cheers and cheerio.